As we talked about yesterday, the markets go into bearish territory. This is Dez here at Grok Trade. It's Tuesday, December 30th, 2014. And here we slip into the red across the board on all major indices with the NASDAQ leading the charge to the downside, down 0.61%, with the Dow faring the best, only down 0.31%. Russell's down a half a percent. The banks, though, barely in red territory. This here is the reason I was flat the market, no more longs, but certainly did not want to go bearish yet. VIX going higher by 6%. We are now at 16. Precious metal did exceptionally well. We have gold up 1.35%, with silver up 3.11%. We'll look at those charts here momentarily. What's interesting here, utilities, which is the defensive sector, actually dropped 2.14%. You would have thought that that would have been in the green, but we are not seeing that. Here's the S&P 500, and you'll see here that yesterday we talked about a negative tick on the histogram, a little bitty mini-me thing, and then today a much bigger one. And this is what we have as far as the price action is concerned. Now we're looking for some sort of drop. This happened on very little volume. If I were to pull in the spider, the difference with the spider ETF is we only have one tick to the downside on the ETF, not two like we have on the S&P 500, which is interesting. But we, nonetheless, we do have a crossover and we do have a drop taking place. Quick look here at the volume, see that volume is very light and we're expecting that to be light the rest of the week. So, yeah, we want to take a quick look here at the NASDAQ. You'll see that we did pull back here. And as far as the MACD is concerned, we do have a negative tick, first one. So, we think that there's going to be more downside potential here. And we'll see if that actually happens. And gold, you'll see that we popped up and people sold into that strength. We're caught up in the moving averages here. And we're going into the apex of the symmetrical triangle. We're looking for a big, big move here on gold and also um, on silver. Big symmetrical triangle going into the apex of that. Caught up in the moving averages. Looking for a big breakout or a breakdown. Uh, time will tell on precious metal. And nothing to speak of on tech stocks. Apple was down more than 1%. Uh, but you have a big bear flag here. I want to share something with you. Let me pull in Fibonacci retracements here on you Apple traders and people who are doing analysis on Apple, if they're not sharing this with you, they need to be. This is a huge bear flag. This means it's big time bearish territory, huge bearish territory. Go right now to freeonlinetradingeducation.com. Go to the chart school, look up bear flag. And here it is. We found resistance at 61.8 Fibonacci retracement on Apple. This could be a sizable drop. Take 100% of this right here, then scale it back to 80% of this, and that's what we're looking at. So we could see Apple at $100 if it doesn't um, do a big time reversal. It needs to get over 114.75. It really needs to get over that area for this to not be a bear flag. So there you have it, the very best technical analysis, looking forward to just killing it into 2015. Looking forward to ringing in the new year with all you traders. Take care.